Hey everybody, uh, Pepe here, Pepe's Fruit Trees. We're taking a look today at a Moringa growing in a uh, two gallon pot. Uh, this is a Moringa oleifera, and if you look down here, you'll see the container is uh, uh, this two is gallon. Important that you be aware of um, the fact that Moringa oleifera doesn't really like the cool weather. I mean, it can handle it, but it doesn't like it. I don't like it either. But these trees are pretty tough, so what generally happens is couple of things you'll notice yellowing on the leaves and this tree is no exception it's got some yellowing and normally your moringa trees grow so rapidly that they just seem to be shedding and dropping the the leaves below as the new growth begins to emerge let me come up here and you'll see much better what I'm talking about so if you look here you're gonna notice a couple of things are gonna come to mind immediately wow it's flowering now this moringa the first stands at about 36 inches uh, planted height uh, as I said earlier there is some yellowing in it and um, I want you to see here, right up here is the young, this is the young tender growth, but the tree really should not be flowering, not this small. So if you allow a tree like this to flower, what's going to happen is all the energy is obviously, just like fruit trees, all the energy is going to go into the production of those pods, and we don't want that. When, when these trees are stressed, either through drought or they're given uh, cool weather or... Uh, you know something happens where there's an injury to say one part of the root zone or something like that or the branches uh, that can cause a tree to begin to flower um, so this is a young tree that was hit with some pretty cool weather we actually had a high 30s 39 to 41 and a lot of wind um, so the tree didn't look too good and then let it develop develop these flowers so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the difference between a stem like this here normal stem and then we're gonna look at a flower stem you can see the flower stem okay now they haven't opened yet but what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull carefully twist and we're gonna remove this okay because we don't want the tree to put any more energy into producing any more of these flowers so they are gonna go bye bye we're gonna go over here we're gonna pinch them away and we're gonna do we'll turn it around a little bit Turn around a little bit and go down over here. Pinch that one away. And we'll pinch that one away. And they're all going to come off. Okay? Just, just remove them gently. Okay? I think there's one more towards the back. Look carefully so that you're removing the flowers. Yep, there's another one over here. Okay, so now. Now we've taken the flowers off, okay, and we have a new shoot right there that's leaves. And now we're gonna, hopefully, this tree will say, okay, man, I got no more flowers to deal with. Cool. Now I can put a little more energy into my vegetative growth and I can grow into a nice, strong, healthy moringa tree. And next year, or maybe in six months, not, not next year, probably in about six months, I'll be really ready to produce some nice flowers and some really awesome pods for you. So keep that in mind. If your moringa tree is young, three feet only, and it's already flowering, you really might not want it to do that uh, because it's, it's not going to necessarily be too happy. A lot of stress, a lot of energy you dedicated to that and less growth. All right, I hope that helped you a little bit understanding a little more about the moringa tree. And uh, if you want to learn more, go to bestmoringatrees.com. Thank you. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.